Hello and welcome to another video for Squad from Paraplays. In this video I want you to have a look at the recoil patterns on some of these weapons and see whether it is actually an advantage to go prone or kneeling and burst fire and what the actual recoil pattern is on some of these weapons. So here we have the beast, the saw, and I'm just going to put some hip fire and short burst down there and then we can have a look at the impact marks on this wall. Right, so let's get down there and have a look. So at this range, it's probably the close quarters combat sort of range. As you can see, there is a little bit of spread, but of course we're only putting very short bursts in here. I have noticed a lot of players with this thing seem to think it's a hose pipe, and they just absolutely blast rounds out left, right and centre. And if you're going to be using this at distance, say over to the building on my right, chances of you hitting anything are going to be pretty slim. It really does become a, just a bit of a suppressive weapon. And I wish there was a bit more suppressive in the game, such as blurring your screen, etc. So let's focus now and see if this makes any difference on the hit markers. Now I was trying to control the actual uh, recoil there by pulling down slightly and as you can see a lot of a tight, lot much more of a tight group it looks like all the way down to his bell end, all the way up to his head so wherever that hits him it's going to put him in a world of pain. So now I'm actually crouching and I'm using focus as well and I am actually trying to control this burst slightly by pulling down due to the massive amount of recoil on this weapon. As you can see, a very tight group in here. This is definitely a kill. Decals have just disappeared slightly there. And so let's go into prone. Now this should be the tightest grouping of them all. Just nice short little bursts like this. Oops, getting carried away. As you can see the weapon really does pull up quite high. Let's just move over a little bit so we get a clean wall to do this on. I'm going to focus in here. The one on the right is without focus in prone. Both trying to control the uh, the actual recall on this weapon. And let's go down and have a look. Remember, we are close. You probably would use this. As you can see, both groups are quite tight. I am surprised at the recoil on going prone and controlling it. Really, the weapon shouldn't go up in the air like that at all when they're firing this weapon. It doesn't in real life. So I know we're in alpha, and this is probably something that they're going to be looking into. And as you can see, this is the recoil pattern. When you don't control the recoil and you just pull the trigger, it really is quite savage. And hopefully this can be tailored in a little bit as uh, in real life, when you fire the weapon, it doesn't point up in the ceiling, especially when you're in prone. But hey, still love this weapon. It's an absolute beast. Okay, so let's move on to one of the American weapons now and get the ACOG out. So this weapon should be really quite accurate. So let's just aim for this dot here. I'm not using any focus because I don't think you can focus with this weapon. It doesn't seem to make any difference. As you can see, that is accurate. So you've got to aim just at the bottom of the uh, red point. That seems to be where the actual aim is. As you can see, absolutely dead on. That would flip in. That would literally, you could put that between their eyeballs. They'd have absolutely no chance. So it really is quite accurate, but of course we're stood still here. So let's just put this into burst. And as you can see, on burst, the recoil is absolutely massive on this weapon. It actually seems almost uncontrollable to be using it in any other mode but single fire. Uh, again, I'm sure they, they will be looking into all these things. Uh, that just seems too much to me when compared to the AK. Um, really is quite a savage thing. So let's get into prone. I'm going to press the focus key even though I don't think it makes any difference with this. As you, as you can see, in full auto or burst mode, uh, semi should I say, the recoil is really quite savage. And again, pressing the focus button while I'm kneeling, I'm still getting quite quite bad recoil. Trying to, trying to control this by pulling down on the mouse as I'm firing. But this thing really is a wily little beast. And um, I think this is one of the reasons why the AK is easier to use. It may be to counterbalance that we've got sights and scopes. Maybe that's the reason. Okay, so have a, let's have a look at the red dot. A little bit more of a close quarters weapon. Or should I say it's the same weapon, just a different sight. So let's have a look, let's focus in on here and see if we can get a tight group in. Seems to be still quite a lot of kick on this. 
But you really shouldn't make any difference between this and the previous weapon. Only, only, the only thing we've done is change the actual sight on top. I'm not going to mention zooming in more. People get sick of me going on about it, so I'll leave that. But anyway, as you can see, really quite a tight grouping in uh, single fire. But when, as soon as you get this in burst, it really is quite difficult to control the recoil. So if you're using this at any other distance further than probably 10, 20, maybe 10, 15 meters further than this building, you're, you're really going to have to get in a good position really aim and take really short little burst fires um, even single fire, let's be honest, it's, it's a single fire weapon this as you can see because the recoil is really quite savage AK time! everybody's favourite, the AK again, I'm going to be aiming at this point in single fire now even though that sight is tiny for me it's still easier to use this weapon than it is to use the M4 as you can see, this is probably the amount of uh, fire that you would probably use when you're in a gunfight. Little short bursts like this. And we'll go down and have a look in a second. Let's have a look at that. As you can see, some really tight groupings here. So the Marines are really going to get their heads blown off with this thing. And, um, yeah, let's just come a little bit further back and see if we can uh, still get these tight groupings at a little bit of a distance, which is probably as they're coming through that door. Let's go for this post here. Get some single rounds off. Not really having to fight that much with the mouse, to be honest. I'm just going to focus. So the bottom section on this post is without focus, and the top one is with focus. Let's just go and have a look, see what we can see. What's the difference here? So it's a slightly tighter grouping on the focus one, but not a huge amount. You're still going to get a kill with either of these headshots, so not a massive difference, to be honest. And this is uncontrolled, you can see the actual recoil pattern on this, really quite savage again without any control and full burst. And that's me trying to control it. So yeah, so all these times when you say that you're shooting at people and you're not getting any hit, it's probably because you're getting one, probably two ricochets off these people, and you're not actually getting the headshot and the kills that you're after. I'm not actually going to be doing all the weapons, it's just to give a rough overview of some of the most used ones. So let's have a look at a precision weapon. Now this thing should be accurate, we should be able to shoot through a polo mint at 500 meters with this bad boy. So here we go, I'm just going to put some random shots into the top of this doorway and let's go down and see and have a look. Okay, quite a tight group, but if you're aiming for the head, a couple of those will probably go over their shoulder plates, uh, over their shoulder blades should I say. So probably you're not going to get a kill unless that headshot is nice and clean, straight through the eyeballs of a marine. So let's just focus now. This is pressing the focus button. I'm just roughly trying to get it in the same place each time. Recoil seems to be pulling up and to the right each time you fire, so you do have to correct for that. Let's go and have a look. As you can see, a very tight group in there with the focus on this weapon and not that difficult to actually pull it back in so if you can get used to pulling down and left you should be able to get a very tight grouping on there because you know where the recoil pattern is on that weapon right so this is in prone this should be really quite a tight group and you see I'm, I'm firing at probably the rate you would do when you see an enemy because you it's very rarely you'll do one every two or three seconds because you want to get the kill and this is what happens so this is probably the rate of fire that we're going to be using let's just go down and see if this equals a dead marine very tight grouping as you can see that's a kill all day long so crouching and just letting a load of rounds off as you do when you see somebody running past and you want to pop 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 let's just have a look and what we'll do then is we'll do a test with no stamina and see if that actually makes any difference So we've run around and got our flip-flops all dirty and sweaty. So here we are, down in this little compound, and I'm trying to aim in prone, roughly at this area, in about the same rate of fire you would probably use if there was an enemy coming. Let's just jump down here and have a final look. 
Well, it could be anybody's guess, couldn't it? But chances are you're going to get a kill, as you can see in the center one before the decals disappear. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has just been a quick look at the recoilers. It's different in every game, and the more we play squad, it's interesting to know. I'm sure these things will change as the devs get into uh, recoil and weapon statistics and all that other things. But this has just been a quick look at some of the weapons and the recoil. Thanks for watching. Got any suggestions on something else you wouldn't like me to have a look at? Leave it in the box below, and I will do. Otherwise, I shall see you in the Alpha, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Bye-bye.